Well, well, uh, I made a a reply video to this Jesus Files video, maybe what a couple of weeks ago or so. It was just a quick little uh, quip, actually, about the ignorance he's showing. And then uh, I get a bunch of comments from my reply from a bunch of these illiterate idiots. You guys can't even spell, so having a battle of wits with unarmed opponents is no fun. You know? If you don't know how to spell and you don't know your English and your grammar, and if you can't really listen to somebody and understand what they're saying, don't comment. You know, it just looks, makes you look stupid. You all make these comments thinking I look stupid by calling this guy a fool. Jesus a file. You think he's satire. You think that video he just made was satire. Well, if it is, he's convinced me that he's a fundy. Okay? Did you hear what he said? Did you? The thing about Pol Pot and Stalin and Hitler all being atheists, for one thing. No, they weren't. In Mein Kampf, Hitler says that he does this for God. He is doing this in the name of God because the Jews killed his son. He's a Christian. He's always been a Christian. And Stalin, he didn't go around killing people and saying, I'm going to kill you because I don't believe in God. That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. Don't you understand? You don't even understand, obviously, what atheism is. We don't believe in anything. That's the whole point. Atheism isn't a thing you believe in. It's a name and label that you all put on us. <laughs> we don't want to believe in fantasy and myths and gods that create everything. He says the evidence for the existence of God's creating everything is everything. You see how stupid that argument is? And the thing about air, you can't see it? Yes, you can. It's made up of molecules. Visible molecules. Not to the naked eye, but all you gotta do is look in the microscope. You can see it. Yeah, every bit of it. Light too, you can see light too. Of course you can, it's right there. <laughs> and the thing about it, maybe you turn on a switch, you have faith that the light goes on. Well, sure I do. What's wrong with using the word faith? It's not strictly a religious word. <laughs> you dumbasses. You think this guy's a satire. Well, if he is, he's really bad at it, trust me. All your ignorant excuses about it, it is, so it is. No, the onus is not on people to uh, prove a non-existence. You can't prove a non-existence. The onus is on those who say something does exist. You have to prove your God exists. And just saying that, well... Because it's here. It's, that's not even uh, logical. Period. Atheist arguments are logical. That's the whole point. Okay? You're saying that there's a... Uh, that we're illogical because we don't want to believe that there's some all-powerful magical creature out there that created everything. And you say we're illogical. You know, that's one of those uh, stupid Christian statements they like to make up, like creation science, <laughs> intelligent design. Let me tell you a little bit about intelligent design. For instance, life itself is a very powerful energy force. It tries everything it can. There are millions of examples of life because life itself has this desire to thrive, to exist, to be, and through immersion, and through the, the molecular compounding, and, and gravity, and heat, and everything else, life found a vehicle. So what it did is it designed evolutionarily different examples so that it could thrive. And 
since life itself is designing these examples, uh, like for instance, you know, the amoeba to the bacteria to the, you know, to the virus to to us, the multicellular creatures and such. That's all a ladder that life had to take in order to to make it thrive. It wants to thrive. So if it wants to thrive, then is it not self-aware? So life itself being self-aware and designing things, there then is your intelligent design. It's not a magical creature. It's not a big powerful thing with all the heavenly hosts and the angels all gathered around and the saints and everybody saying, God, please, come on, you're killing us. Don't give them all those silly rules. You know they are. They don't want to uh, tell the Jews to cut off a piece of their penis. Uh, you're kidding me. Don't tell them to do that. Tell them you're only kidding, please. Why do they have to mutilate themselves? God goes, because I can. Is that right? You think that goes on or something? Jeez, you people are just... Trust me. This guy's not a satire. Ophile means loving of, maniacal, obsessive. You get it? All right, uh, Signing off, Gerald Ralph Reynolds in Portland, Oregon. We'll be seeing y'all some other time. Can't wait for your comments, you silly, illiterate, ignorant fools. <laughs> Stop playing a preacher, Obama, to uh, open Congress with a prayer. I thought I'd throw that in. Take a toke. Later.